as prosecutors proceed with this case. How does Casey's defense team fight the charges against her? For some insight, we're joined by Richard Hornsby, who is president of the Central Florida Criminal Defense Bar. Richard, you were with us last night. Thanks for coming back into the newsroom. When we talked to you last night, we weren't sure. It wasn't confirmed that these remains were Kaylee. We now know they are. How does the case change? Well, the trial becomes more focused. No longer is whether or not Kaylee is still alive an issue and a possibility that Baez can raise and that the, the prosecution has to rebut. Um, it's clear she's dead, so now the only issue is who killed her? We, and we go back to the, the, the statement that uh, Dr. G, the Orange County Medical Examiner, said it's a homicide, but she's not exactly sure how the homicide was carried out. If the state decides to seek the death penalty, is that going to be judicially make sense? You know, I thought about it, and I don't think that we've learned anything new that would cause a prosecution to seek the death penalty. Um, Dr. G basically said that it's a homicide, she doesn't know how it happened, which means that she doesn't know whether it was violent, whether it was passive, or whatnot. So I highly doubt the prosecution, based only upon the fine of Kaylee, will go to seek the death penalty because it would be um, unfair, quite frankly, because there's no, no new evidence other than the fact they've confirmed the death. Okay, and, and what you're referring to is if, if we knew, for example, that uh, Kaylee underwent some cruel treatment before she died, that would motivate prosecutors to seek the death penalty. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the utility worker who we heard from about five minutes ago, still a lot of questions about those three phone calls back in August. The sheriff's office says it's investigating. Uh, you said last night this was a, a huge break for Jose Baez in the defense? Well, it depends on what angle Mr. Baez takes, but no matter what angle he does, this is a huge break. One, this raises issues not only about the credibility of the investigation as far as his tips, but every aspect of their investigation. What else did they overlook? What else did they not do? Second, could it be possible that this gentleman was somehow involved in it? Or third, is it possible that there is somebody else that was involved in her death that moved the body or was trying to cover this up while everybody was focused on Casey Anthony? And Jose Baez should be able to use this to its utmost advantage, and it will be a huge issue in this trial. Richard Hornsby, president of the Central Florida Criminal Defense Bar, thanks a lot for coming in. We appreciate your insight again. Thank you. Thank you.